How is it going everybody? You're watching then about tech. So Apple has just released its latest update to iOS 17, iOS 17.1.2. And in this video, I'm going to explain you why you must update right now and how this software update may actually fix all your remaining bugs, issues and problems you're having with iOS 17. Let's go. So first things first, I have to tell you that iOS 17.1.2 doesn't actually include any bug fixes. It doesn't actually include any new features either. It's exclusively a security update. So it just brings security fixes, as you can see, and Apple doesn't even tell us what those security fixes actually are. So right off the bat, you can already tell why it's super important to update, right? Because it's an update full of security fixes, super important. So if you care about your privacy, your data, you just must update right now. But then how will this software update actually fix anything and solve any issues you're having with iOS 17. And the thing is, guys, iOS 17, unlike iOS 16, is not a buggy, problematic OS version. So there aren't really many problems and issues with iOS 17 that actually affect everyone. Like, for example, in iOS 16, there was the battery issue. So battery was just horrible for everyone. And that's not the case with iOS 17. So pretty much everyone is having a good experience with iOS 17, apart from some unique specific users. And those problems those specific users are having may appear in WhatsApp or Instagram, or it may be overheating, or it may be battery. But again, it's just for a few selected individuals, not a chronic problem, not a widespread problem of iOS 17. And that's the thing. When we do those software updates, even those teeny tiny software updates, as you're seeing right now in iOS 17.1.2, Sometimes those issues are just fixed because, as I said, those are not problems of iOS 17 as a whole. It's just sometimes it's a problem on your device. And then just updating to any version of iOS 17, even if it doesn't fix specifically that issue, even if it wasn't built to fix that issue, it may fix just because you updated the iPhone. As easy as that. So then updating may fix your remaining issues, as I said, related to battery, uh, maybe overheating, maybe problems with some apps and everything like that. But I also wanna make sure that you do this after you update. Go ahead and open up the App Store, okay, let it load, and then right there at the top right hand corner, tap on your photo, and then pull all the way down, and then make sure that you do this. You update all, just like that, update all. It's super important that you do that because as soon as you do that, all your apps are going to be updated and then sometimes the issue that you're facing it's just because apps are not compatible and then if you make sure to update everything you're good to go and then you're going to pretty much make sure you're going to have a perfect experience with ios 17. okay so that's pretty much it now let's hope for ios 17.2 because that's a big software update with many new features and of course i'm going to cover everything right here on Dana Baltac. Okay? See you later. See you in the next video. Bye bye, guys.